It's here! It's here! It's finally here! It's here! It's here! It's finally here! <clears throat> finally, a trailer has been released a few weeks ago for the new My Little Pony movie for Generation 5, set to be released September 24th of this year. If my intro wasn't an indicator, I can hardly wait to see it. Of course, I do have a few questions about what the trailer displayed, which just tells me that it's done its job well. It's gotten me excited for more, literally has me making a video asking questions about it. I'm wondering how far the story will go in terms of grim or dark topics. Will there be scary moments? I also have questions in regards to what's going on with the cutie marks of each character, as well as the background details. What's with the hidden gems of posters for movies spreading fear, the lack of magic, and distrust and fear amongst the pony tribes? But I'm also looking forward to what the movie will reveal for the current pony timeline in regards to Equestria history, and if there's anything left from the previous story arc of Generation 4 from Twilight Sparkle's Reign. The trailer reveals that this is no longer the Equestria we know from a few years ago, as it shows many tidbits and hints of pony tribes being in fear of each other over once again. From paranoid movie posters of what we know today, like Jaws, is it the unicorn making an appearance and starting a chaotic panic in the city of Earth ponies, to vague messages from Sonny's father about how unicorns, Earth ponies, and Pegasi used to live in harmony. However, while most of this was restricted to just the perspectives of Sonny, the trailer also reveals that unicorns and pegasi have strong fears of each other too. We see clips of Izzy helping to disguise her friends as unicorns, even going as far as to help cover up her pegasi friend's wings. There's a surprise reaction of Zip when she meets Sunny and Izzy for the first time, but what sinks in for me is while Sunny is very open-minded about meeting Izzy and traveling to the city of Pegasus ponies, Izzy is even hesitant to go there. But the pegasi are bad news! There is so much fear and animosity amongst the pony tribes that I can't help but sense that there will be some hidden dark topics throughout the movie. We basically entered a world where the characters are meeting face to face, but have grown up in cultures where they are supposed to fear and possibly hate each other. I can't imagine this topic being dodged. I would happily applaud Hasbro for taking on the challenge, granted if it's done properly, that is. These kinds of topics being shown to kids or young adults today, friendly or not, can be daunting during this time due to, well, unknown political scenes and aggression amongst real life today. And if done wrong, it can lead to hurting the show and disappointing the fans all around. It's definitely not going to be an easy road, but I do admire Hasbro for taking up the chance and hope they can handle these kinds of topics with care and respect to its audience. But speaking of the audience who grew up with Generation 4, I'm curious to see how much is left in regards to the history of Twilight Sparkle's reign in this new generation. It is indicated that the history of Generation 4 does still exist as canon in Generation 5, as it's displayed that the main six figures are in fact there, as well as Sunny's father revealing that once there was a time where Earth Ponies, Unicorns, and Pegasi lived together in harmony. The whole story is focused on Sunny on a mission to find out what happened to the magic of the Unicorns and Pegasi as well as trying to unite everyone back together like in the old days. But how much will the movie reveal in regards to the past? Is it even possible that these new main five characters will be representing the new elements of Harmony? It stands to reason that it's a possibility as Generation 4 had heavily relied on the concept in the past, even shattering the actual gems of Harmony to indicate that those who represent them possess the power of friendship to vanquish evil. So who's to say Sunny, Izzy, Hitch, Pip, and Zip aren't representing those elements as well. It is a stretch, but one I'm not going to be too surprised should Hasbro go that route again. Which brings me to the topic of lack of certain things in the room. What is going on with the cutie marks, guys? It appears that cutie marks are one-sided on each character, seeming to favor their right sides. I know this was hinted at in other short animations and revealed screenshots, but the trailer confirms this is not an editing oops. This was a designer choice, or it's relevant to the plot and not normal. Could it be that because, as Izzy stated, that the unicorns have no magic, that this could be affecting why only ponies have one side of their cutie marks? It's already been hinted that Pegasi ponies don't have magic either, as other leaks have shown that the royal Pegasi family used wires to pretend they could fly, indicating that magic is needed in order for them to fly in the first place. So, if there's no magic in this world, is this why all ponies only have one half of their cutie marks revealed? Do the cutie marks work the same way as Generation 4? I'd like to assume they do, simply on the fact that Hasbro themselves stated that the lore from Generation 4 was too good to pass up. This would likely indicate that the lore on cutie marks would merge over to Generation 5 as well, if 
if I'm not too bold to assume. Regardless, I am loving the animation and backgrounds from what I've seen. For a while, I really was worried for the movement of the pony characters was going to be either too stiff or too squishy. But I'm happy to say that I see a soft balance of both anatomy based on real ponies and cartoon embellishment. What with the fun display of flips and runs from Hitch to dancing and singing from the other characters. The backgrounds are full of color and light in one scene to even dark and scary atmosphere in another, giving a fresh look on fantasy and complimenting the characters as they journey through the lands. The whole time I was watching, I was analyzing every detail, always finding something new as I rewatched. Granted, this is the movie, so it has a bigger budget. I just hope when the actual series comes out that it's not going to downgrade too much. It is to be expected, but when considering Generation 4 was released and how much we the fans enjoyed the animation before the official Generation 4 movie came out, Gen 5 is getting a movie first before its series release, leaving us to wonder how much quality will go down. I truly hope the movie hits with a bang, but that Hasbro doesn't forget about the series and doesn't neglect the quality too much as well. But what are your thoughts on the trailer, guys? Did you like what you saw upon its release? Were there some tidbits or Easter eggs you spotted while watching it? What are you most excited to see in the movie? Either way, I would love to hear from you. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button to get more updates on my channel, as well as share this video around. It really helps to support my content. And of course, if you'd like to support me further, be sure to check out the Liney Bliss side for my merch shop or check out my Patreon page. Thanks again, and keep an eye out for those rainbows. They will make you smile. Even shattering the actual gems of harmony to indicate that those who represent them possess the power of friendship to vanquish evil. And the AC came on, the AC came on. La da 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 da. Why you gotta come on when I'm recording? You can't ever five minutes, cause Texas is too hot. Do 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 do.